Touch gloves. Okay, back to your corners. In the featherweight division then, an all-Malaysian contest for the fans here at Stadium Nagara. Okay. Judge. Judge. The former Judge boxing timer. champion. Ready? Ready? Against the hey. Malaysian Invasion Mixed Martial Arts champion. Yeah, this featherweight fight here, Steve, is a big contest for Malaysia. These are two of the top prospects in the country right now. Oh, left hand, nice one from the big cat. Nice little hand combination throw by Ayman. Connected nicely. Oh, good left hand from Ayman as well on the end of a three-punch combination. The first two didn't land, I don't think, not cleanly, but that third one really did, and he took it well. He shams Samsudin. Ayman feels he has better hands than the boxing champion. So this is going to be an interesting battle to see if the boxing champion can actually implement his game on the mixed martial arts champion. He, he really showed good hands just then, didn't he? Very impressive indeed. He's really parrying that hand down nicely. He's pawing that hand down. He's coming in with a nice... He's putting punches together. He's not just throwing these one or two shots like a lot of young fighters are. Pat usually do because he's a 12-fight amateur veteran. Love his style, Ayman. He's so fluid, isn't he? Just such an easy mover. Seamless movement between his attack with his hands and his feet. But the way he throws his punches, great balance. Two-handed attack. Very, very nice. He fought 12 times in the MIMO organization, so he has a wealth of experience in there. But Sam Sudin has done a lot of boxing, so he's also got a, a lot of experience as well. You can see a little bit of blood coming off of... Uh, Just the cheekbone, isn't it? The left cheekbone. Sam Sudin there. Doesn't look to be a big cut at all, just a little graze. The blood won't get in his eye because it's below the eye. Now Ayman starting to put together some other weapons here. He's starting to throw some kicks, mixing it up with the punches. Some student wants to take this fight to the ground, but good balance displayed by Ayman. Careful, back of the head. You can see Andrew Leone over there giving him some words of advice. From Bali Muay Thai, he's got a good camp out there at Bali MMA and Muay Thai. They've really spent a lot of time with this young man developing to complete his full range. Samsun's trying to fight, work back up to the clinch. Samsun's cut has uh, opened up quite a little bit more. You might be able to see the result of that, but at the moment he's got other problems. A rear naked choke, perhaps. Good defense by Ayman. Now samsun has got to fight that arm. Don't, I mean, he can't let that arm get to the top of the head. Oh, I think Samsudin just gave up on that. Sorry, Ayman gave up on that. Kind of let it go, but good wrestling here by Samsudin. Now he's got both hands wrapped around the legs. But good defense by Ayman to get back up to his feet. Got the cage, got the cage. Oh, brings that knee up to the head as if his face isn't already in enough trouble. With that nick beneath the eye. The Tries it again with nothing like the same kind of power. But Samsudin is a very flexible character. Really good mover in that cage. Does it again. Samsudin's applying a lot of pressure to keep this fight up against the cage now. Usually you'll see those knees go to the body in this position, Mitch. He's put that knee up to the head four times now. Nice little breakaway there. Let's see what these fighters can unleash on the feet right now. You can see some some students trying to change back and forth. Ayman rather is changing back and forth between southpaw and orthodox. Delivers a nice little short elbow there. Grab the cage, grab the cage. Uppercut inside from Sam Sudin. Oh, and a left hand, very nice from Ayman. Ayman got that tight clinch and landed some good knees to Samsudin. Samsudin is trying to go for that single leg. Good quite a defense. bit of damage, quite a bit of damage, isn't there, on Samsudin's face? Yeah, he's getting lit up a little bit, and his, his face is a little worse for wear, but he keeps pushing forward. 
You know, he's trying to make well, this work, fight work, work. As, as gritty as he can. You, you'd think that the boxing champion would be a little bit more comfortable want to, want to engage with his hands a little bit, but... Oh, took a knee and a right hand as well. Ayman's really working from the clinch nicely. Just throws the guy, Samsud, into the ground. Tries to pass the guard. <laughs> ends the round very successfully. Good round for Ayman. I like his style there from Ayman. You'll see a, a, a big variety in his attack here. Nice little uppercut landed there from Samsudin. Here's that takedown, but Ayman was able to pop right back up, reverse this into a sweep and end up on top. Here he attempts to take the back, the hand, it was under the chin, but Samsudin did a nice job of defending well. Here's some more of that clinch work. There's those knees we spoke about earlier. And if we break down the fight and to see who has the biggest lead so far, Rich Franklin, how do you have that fight so far? Well, I'll tell you, I want to make a comment what you just said about the takedown because I didn't actually score that as a takedown because as soon as they hit the ground, Samsudin was never able to actually establish position there. Iman created a scramble, ended up on top. So if anything, I would have awarded him points for the takedown. You can see that he's ahead on the takedown. He's been controlling the ground, although they haven't been on the ground very much. But the big story here is the striking superiority and the damage that it's being inflicted. So right now I have uh, Ayman ahead uh, with, a, with a pretty generous lead at this point. 21 Ready? years old, this man, and he's ahead after five Fight. minutes on Rich Franklin's card. Comes racing out to the center of the cage for the start of round two. And Samsudin, not surprisingly, looking to step things up a bit because he's clearly behind. Just ate a foot there from Ayman. Uh, nice yeah, kick to the midriff as well. Yeah, Samsun has really got to put a lot of pressure on Ayman now. He can't let him get comfortable. He's really got to start throwing these hands. His takedowns really aren't being that effective. You know, so maybe he just go back to his strength and back to the boxing. When he wants to, you know, Ayman is very compact and the economy of his effort, that little tight short hook is very nice to see. He doesn't leap in with it, he just waits for his man to come within the zone and unleashes, and that right hand was very accurate. Yeah, Stephen, that's the exact word that you can use to describe Ayman is accurate. He's, he's throwing a lot of strikes, but they're landing. They're not landing with a lot of authority and power, but they are oh. landing like that short elbow. Beautiful stuff. He's got such a variety in his arsenal, hasn't he? Really enjoying watching this young man. Oh, but he ate a big right hand there from the boxer. Samsudin comes back with what he knows best. He needs to give us more of that. That could be Samsudin's most effective strike of the entire fight. Nice little straight right hand. See, everything that really, you know, he's ending his combinations well. So I'm on, he's throwing the hook, but he's landing with the low kick. He's putting together combinations nicely. Are we going to see one of these two tire? Because it's been a good pace, and Samsudin again lands with a left hook there and a big, big left hand from Ayman. Just brushed some air by the face of the older man. Didn't connect, though. And he doesn't need to do that because he, oh, just like that, he waits for his man to come in and then lands nicely. He doesn't need to reach for his opponent. His timing is so good when Samsudin comes in. And has that pawing left hook that doesn't really, he doesn't really turn it over much, but it's almost like he's yeah, like, it's very neat, isn't this it? This slapping, yeah. you know, Samsudin. Nice little connection there again on the left hand. Nice uppercut from Samsudin inside. He takes the left hand though and gets pushed back onto the cage. Yeah, there's just, I mean, he's definitely scoring with a lot of, you know, strikes, but they're not really significant strikes because they're not really doing a lot of, well, I mean, they're not really hurting Samsudin is what it looks like. He's landing, he's, he's definitely causing damage, as Rich Franklin spoke of just a bit earlier. But Samsudin is landing with a bit more power. He's snapping the head back of Ayman when he is able to connect. Now we get to see what Ayman's like off his back as Samsudin starts to deliver a little bit of ground and pound. That was a takedown attempt that didn't quite work out for him. I'm unhanded up on his back. You know, both these fighters are so young at 21 and 25. They've really got a long time ahead of them. But a nice little triangle attempt now. From Iman, you can see that one hand's kind of out, but he's doing the right thing. He's keeping that arm kind of nice and tight. 
So Aymont's not able to pop that arm out if his arm starts to sneak up to the body. Now it's starting to climb up there a little bit. He's elbowing in. That Ed can't go anywhere, not in that position. All he's got is his left arm to try and deflect those elbows. He's Otherwise, he's a bit of a sitting duck there. He's trying to adjust the triangle position, but he's just not quite there. He kind of has to angle his hips out a little bit more and turn to the other side. He's really got to be, like his head's got to be kind of angled to another 45 degree, but he might be out of an arm bar here if he can throw his left leg up over his head. But no. Samson, I think this is more of a credit not to the technique of, of Ayman, but more of the defensive skills of Samson. He's putting his body, now he's got an arm bar. He's going, uh-oh, that's not a good place. He's trying to defend with the leg. He's got to create movement because Ayman's going to take that arm in the wrong direction. You can oh, see the thumb. Uh, he's just turning around, he's ah, twisting. He's yeah, done the very, thumb was very the wrong well. way. The thumb very was the wrong well. way. You thought it looked like the arm went the wrong way, oh, but... <laughs> I panicked for a second. <laughs> it was just his thumb. His thumb was pointing the wrong way, so it bends it a little bit funny. But good defense by Sam Sudin. Now he's on top. Let's see if, what he can do in side control. We've got 20 seconds left in this round. Hey, what a great fight this is. We're not even done with the second round yet. Now he's got to be careful. Those knees to the back of the head. If they don't touch the ear, that's an illegal blow. But he was going up with the angle, Steve. He brought his leg up and dropped it down Certainly onto the, the head. Certainly for the second one he did. The crowd really getting behind this contest now. We've only seen 10 minutes. There's five more to go. And people are up on their feet around me here because these two have provided us, I think somewhat surprisingly, with a very, very entertaining contest. We can see some of the back and forth action. I thought Iman was running away with this, but some student came back, gritted it out, had a good defense here. Here's a deep arm bar. He tries to go belly down, rolls back over on top. You can see the arm starts going the wrong way, but see how his thumb is pointing out to the right there his arm his thumb starts to point the wrong way and he goes there and he rolls right out of it very nicely done he keeps his arms in nice and tight defends the triangle well rich franklin what do you got let me tell you i was grimacing during that arm bar <laughs> escape and i've been in that position that's a very high level escape i'll tell you i think uh Iman has just kind of increased his lead in this in this fight and during this second set of five minutes especially with the striking superiority but i did award sam sudan some ground control back, back. points for the armbar escape ending up on top uh -huh. and you know i'll tell you with, when the lead begins to uh, expand like that you would believe that one fighter is basically out of the contest, but when you see the end of that round, you know that Sam Sudan is not here to give up, and this is going to be an amazing uh, last round here. How much fun is this for Malaysian fans but Rich at Franklin, Stadium Nagara yeah. to enjoy this contest between two Malaysian fighters that is so engaging? You don't think that was a near finish on the armbar? Oh, definitely it was a near finish. I'm just, I have to give, I have to give Sam Sudan some credit for uh, escaping it. I definitely awarded I'm on some some points for the actual near finish. Half a minute gone in this third and final round. A thoroughly engaging contest this has been. If Sam Sudin can really start to put it on Iman here, he has a chance to creep back into this fight, but he's got to do some significant yeah. work in a very short period of time. Now they're just sort of trading lane kicks. I, I don't think it's insurmountable the lead that Ayman has, but it's certainly it's certainly going to put him in a really great position if he can just see this one out. But it doesn't seem to be in his style. He's got such a fluid attacking style that Samsudin's survival here is still very much under threat, and he's cut beneath the eyebrow, and that's a dangerous place for it to be. That's what uh, that's where the big damage is. Good head movement by Ayman as Samsudin tried to leap in there. Is a very high level kind of footwork that he displayed as he's just able to angle out just slightly as the punch just whizzes by him. Nice right hand from Sam Sudin. He got caught with a, a right that came straight back at him from Ayman, who is a supreme counter puncher at this level. And don't forget, he's fighting a boxer and a champion of that. The volume of his strikes are just a little bit higher, and he's also more accurate in his strikes. He's not really putting a lot behind him. You can see he's not really turning his hip over into a lot of these shots, but the accuracy's there. He's landing effectively in a lot of his exchanges. 
that's it. One, one of the things that we're going to come away from Kuala Lumpur this evening is that we want to see, well, I'd love to see Mohamed Ayman fight again, because assuming he comes out of this with a victory, there's a lot of potential there. I think we'd like to see both these fighters because they are putting on an entertaining show. Land nice short elbows from both fighters in the clinch there. See, that's that's kind of his thing, man. He's just lunging in with these one-punch shots. Ayman just ghosted away from it. He's just got such control of his movement and the awareness of his of his uh, immediate surrounding space. I'd like to see him counter punch more. So he'd step away, he'd glide away, maybe throw an underhook as he was turning the court or an uppercut as he's kind of turning away from him. Just over two minutes left, and you can see the punch is slightly more sluggish than they have been, quite understandably, as fatigue starts to set in. But this is where, if Samsudin is going to do something, he needs to do it. Again, nice little left hook there by Ayman. Oh, right Ooh. hand from Samsudin. Clipped him very nicely indeed. He's got through several times with good, solid, clean punches, has the boxer, but he got on the receiving end again there. Every time he's hit, Ayman, he seems to come back with something very classy. He puts his whole body into that shot. Look at that. He's just lunging forward every single time he can. I'd like to see him maybe set up. That's a little bit better. He threw the jab in front of it. But just Ayman just countered really nicely. And there's a nice little leg kick as well. He's chasing the legs now after having gone ahead, hunting for the head. Oh, and a flying knee to the head. Samsudin's in big trouble now because he followed up with a punch. One minute 15 left of the final round. Can Ayman get a finish out of this fight? Samsudin still looks pretty strong up there. See, but Samsun, now he's starting to go to the body now. These big lunge and a nice little right, right hook hands. there. He's really coming back with some leather, isn't he? The man from the Borneo tribal squad. And the crowd are getting behind him. Oh, he's spinning back fist, and Ayman goes down. And could this one turn on its head? Oh, Steve with a big spinning back fist dropped Ayman and he secures the takedown. What's this going to do to Rich Franklin's scorecard and the three judges of scoreside? Is it too little too late? 30 seconds left. Throw that back elbow again. That was good. That was beautiful. <laughs> he caught it. He secures the tape. Now he's starting to control. He's got 24 seconds to put it on him. I don't know if that's enough to do it because he's done. He's got so much success in this last minute of this fight. It might not be enough though. Just coming back with a few punches there. Ayman in the final 10 seconds. Ayman's got an art triangle. That's a triangle. That's secure. Surely he's going to ride out the final 10 seconds, isn't he? Surely. Not really locked in, but a what a way to wow. end this highly entertaining wow. Malaysian battle. You do not expect to see a fight of the night candidate on fight number two of an 11 fight night. That was an absolute corker. You don't want to see either of these men come away with a loss. I'm really looking forward to seeing both of these guys in the cage again. What Here a night is in Malaysia. that spinning back fist that drops Ayman. And then Samsudin just jumps all over him. Ayman does the right thing, not giving up his back, keeping his back against the cage, and really an entertaining fight. Rich, what do you have? Well, I'll tell you, that's, that spinning back fist is a perfect example of how you never count a fighter <laughs> out. But I think that Samsudin made a tactical error there. He should have kept the fight on the feet because Ayman was hurt. And he could have, within the last minute of that fight, actually finished it. But obviously, that one minute was not enough to uh, Ladies to close and gentlemen, the gap. after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, and all three judges see it for your winner via unanimous decision from the blue corner, Muhammad Ayman! Well, I think we all agree with that here at Cage Side. What a performance.